Hi and welcome to the supplement for finding free music on the internet. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, uh, how to find some music and uh, how to start making a, a book of your favorite musics. So in the previous lesson we talked about the easiest and fastest way to find and play music. Uh, this one is still pretty easy and fast but it uh, might take a few more minutes to uh, maybe um, print it out, have a hard copy and start making a book. Uh, uh, the same technique applies for this. What we're going to do is we're going to type in the keywords. Uh, and I'm using Google. I just prefer you use that um, web browser. So song I'm going to choose for this example is uh, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. And uh, once again, uh, keywords, you want to always remember when searching this way, you always want to remember uh, keywords. And for this particular purpose, uh, just to make this quicker and faster, I'm using keywords title, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. I'm looking for words and specifically, I'm looking for ukulele chords. Uh, if, if I just put chords, my search will be a lot wider okay that means i'll have more resources but we're keeping it simple and we're going to go with that once again three keywords or sections of keywords somewhere over the rainbow so we need a title that's a title i'm looking for words and ukulele chords in, uh, specifically so um keep that in mind and then I'm gonna just scroll on down so there's a lot of resources and what I'm the for this uh, lesson uh, the main thing I'm looking for is something that I can print out in one page okay so I'm going to go to the, this page here it's uh, uh, alligator boogaloo somewhere over the rainbow okay and then this uh, music sheet comes up uh, if you need to jot that down here Go go to uh, pause the video for a sec. Go uh, to that there. It's the uh, alligatorboogaloo.com. You can you can uh, jot that down if you want to keep a, keep a note of that. Okay. So moving uh, pause the video and do that. Okay. And then I'm um, moving on. Okay. So I click that on and then it comes up to this page here. Uh, which is the song? What's really what's really good about it is that it has the ukulele chords located on uh, the the left side over here, okay. And everything's all kind of uh, situated and on one page, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, just uh, copy and paste everything into Word. Um, let's see here. Okay, so I, I couldn't, I couldn't, with, with my cursor, if you notice, I couldn't, or I guess I can grab it. So that's one way you can do it, okay? So I caught everything, I grabbed it, I'm cutting and pasting, and I'm putting it into Word now. Here's my Word, okay? And since I already had the title in that format or paper, I can just paste it, and there it is. That whole page of music is now in my Word document, okay? And what's great about this, really great about this, is that everything I need is on one page. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll print it out, and then I'll have my copy right there. Okay, so now I have a copy of my uh, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, and uh, I can go, uh, stick it in my music uh, book or binder and then I can start to have uh, my own uh, music collection so all the songs I like to play got my own music book so instead of buying a music book you would just start making your own and this is a uh, one way to do it and it's a uh, very convenient because um, um, what I like about this it's the one page music sheet so the goal for this and for me in fact I always try to do this I always try to find music that I can fit on one page 
uh, because it's just easier, easier to look at, easier to see, easier to carry around, easy to, to store in my music book. And um, this is all around convenient. Uh, later on, we'll talk about two bait songs and more. Uh, keep in mind that this song is not the um, the let's say uh, somewhere over the rainbow by Brada is so this is the original version but for the sake of uh, giving you an example this is how I did it um, in uh, ukulele 2 I, I do give you the um, the Hawaiian version of this song so don't worry about that but uh, at least um you got a chance to see on how you can uh, uh, get some music. In fact, uh, so if I scroll on here, there's a here's a little link I can I can click on over there, and then it, it takes me to um, um, maybe not. Oh, that's right. I have to go back here to this. So. I, this link down here, right down there, uh, takes me back uh, to this uh, website or the website that provide the music and they uh, provide different kinds of music. Now, I wouldn't say um, this is all the current music, it looks like they're pretty old to me, but uh, the basic idea is that um, you know there's music available on the website and you can check it out and uh, there's a lot of uh, free stuff, it just takes a little uh, exploring and looking around so um, when uh, you've kind of got the hang of this and you're ready to move on we'll, later we'll talk about uh, doing uh, pieces of music that involve a little bit more work and making it better and uh, two pages and more okay so when you're ready we'll see you for the next lesson on uh, how to get free music off the internet